should be able to wear that without any consequence since it supposedly can't get hit. We can attach the crowbar to it. Doesn't solve the weight, but uh, gets rid of the other issue. Alright, um. So. X to 9, super unencumbered. We shouldn't have a problem dropping off the roof. The formula should be in our favor. One thing I don't know is where the zombies are at. So let's pick this corner over here and just hope it's not surrounded. Climb down. <laughs> I dropped on top of an acid zombie. <laughs> Uh, two acid zombies. <laughs> a spitter and an acid zombie. Yeah, okay game. <laughs> At least I'm acid immune this time. <laughs> Normally, that would be pretty annoying. Notice how it's completely empty on every single location, except immediately right below where I was standing. <laughs> so I lurched and hit the acid zombie for 52 already. God, I'm glad I'm immune to those. <laughs> and of course he goes after the arms again. So there's the trick. I need to just stand here in this pool of acid and let zombies come to me and uh, get themselves destroyed. Oh, I know I'm acid proof. That's why I laughed. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead and grab the restaurant guide. Don't care about that. I gotta give some serious thought to bailing back out. <laughs> I'm, I'm pushing my luck way too far. Way too far. And I can't carry anything even if I do find something useful. And of course, was it? Yep. Alright, how's my drunk doing? Still drunk. Ink and Dustin's hanging out right in front of the garage. All right, let's let's get out of this area. got another garage right here we'll try to pop and check that and I might pull back to the car we'll, we'll we'll do some more magic missile or other reading for a day and then uh, take off or come back I mean just so many special zombies everywhere Really? We're getting our ass kicked again all of a sudden? Right arm bit again? I'm not sure exactly what happened in that sequence. Why all of a sudden everything went to shit again so quickly? Well, I guess we're going to die right here because... <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what happened right here. <clears throat> All of a sudden, the strength's zero again. About to lose our arm. We're bleeding in the torso and almost dead there. I I don't know what happened right here. I I mean, everything was fine, and we were decimating everything, and the stats were good, and then just all of a sudden, everything zeroed out on me. So, so quick. I don't know what happened.
down to one bar and uh, still actively bleeding 33 speed and if anything else shows up we're definitely gonna die we're strength still Gotta stop the bleeding before I start moving. More poison on the way. Still strength zero. Still got things running at me when they shouldn't know I'm here. Explosion and the noise probably brought them. I try to move with strength zero. Double weight. I need to get a little distance. No matter what it costs me, I need to get some distance. Really? I just failed an antiseptic? 95% <laughs> chance and I failed? Nice. Oh, see, now I'm more than a little annoyed. Now I am really getting pissed off. There's absolutely no call for this guy to come sprinting from that far away. I just... I'm, I'm more than a little put out now. Because this, this guy will kill me, probably. I don't think I can survive a slavering brute or slavering biter. Not to mention the other guys that keep streaming in here. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what's going on. They don't make that much sound. It's not that loud. It shouldn't be drawing guys in from 40 and 50 spaces away. That's why I tried to move, but... Uh... Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, well, so much for our fun time with the slime guy. I'm not gonna survive this. At 34 speed, it's just not gonna happen. And being out of stamina, so I'm not getting my counterattack. All I've got is adrenaline, and if I try to take it, it's going to... Ugh. It takes, it takes a bunch of action points, so by the time I use it, he's going to get a bunch of attacks on me. And it's only going to take one. I have no armor, so as soon as he lands a single blow, I'm, I'm pretty much dead if he goes for the torso. Because all the damage is going to come through. I mean, I have no dodge left. So I can't really dodge anything. I'm not going to get any counterattacks or the special martial arts moves because my stamina is dead. I, I just don't know what went wrong. I, I'm still really super puzzled about just how that section right there went so wrong so quickly. Considering how we were smashing everything's face and it was just regular zombies in that spot. I don't understand what happened there. I'll have to slow things down and... Watch the replay and see just what sequence occurred that just totally trashed me. Because we were in pretty good shape. So I, I just don't understand what just occurred that um, instantly caused my speed to go to near near 25 again. Ugh. <laughs> Damn it. I could probably survive those guys to the south. But I just don't think I'm going to survive this biter. Unless I get stupid lucky with some stuns and some heavy hits. But I don't think it's going to happen. Alright, there's nothing I can do. If I try to take the adrenaline, it's got a slow effect. It helps, but it's, it's not instantly effective. It gives you some stamina increase and keeps you from being winded, which would help. But by the time I actually got it to fire off and then paid for the points, he would be on me and I think I'd be dead. So, here we go. This could be just instant death as soon as I, I press up. Oh, <laughs> well that that's not what I expected. All right, 59 point critical. That's what I hoped for, not what I expected. We're not home free yet though. I still need to get some distance from this spot in case more stuff shows up. I can't move with my zero strength without draining my stamina. Dare I go for the adrenaline now? I think I do. Alright, so we got the adrenaline off. I need to get this guy dead before he starts grabbing me.
another bloated zombie on the way. We're just gonna try to keep walking, try to get a little more distance before the things keep accumulating and uh, keep exploding and bringing more and more on me. Yeah, as you can see, the adrenaline is not that super impressive. Uh, so we're gonna have another explosion go off. There's a lot more zombies in the area. I don't want to use the gun, because I think that would get me in more trouble. Man, I'm so close to being in wait. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take the poison again and the explosion noise and just hope. Keep moving. Trying to get distance. Alright, got one bar. There's our bike. Alright, bike. <clears throat> Have a medical book. That'll get me below the weight. Well, that was a little more excitement than I needed. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, we're in our vehicle. Safe-ish. Safe adjacent. Uh. <laughs> I, uh... I'm uh, trying to remember the. Uh, hey, I got that command. Hopefully that does what it's supposed to do. What time are we at? Three hours and 13 minutes, so three hours, 10 minutes or so. I want to, afterwards, go back and find out what the hell that was. I'm curious, because I, I thought we were in good shape. We were good stamina, rare force strength, which is what we're normally at, and um, mostly all bad effects were gone, and I don't know what happened that that little group of regular zombies all of a sudden put me back near death again. So I'm definitely going to go back and double check that. All right, so yeah, our radiation is just hanging out at 20, refuses to go down from that, <laughs> despite me not staying in one area and accumulating radiation, not... Uh, I'm still taking regularly my Prussian blue to try to prevent a new accumulation. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that rads. I'm getting a little tired of it though. Um All right. So, more potassium iodine. And we do have a clean basement I could go hang out in or we could just drive somewhere and hope nothing comes in mess. Let's stay mobile. Let's just go drive. As I throw up in my driver's seat. Um, yeah, let's go out in the field here. Uh, one, three. Big benefit about going to the basement was I could have taken a light with me and been left alone while I did a reading or something. Okay, disinfecting, bandaging, I need to fix probably both. First aid at two. Don't have any first aid books.
Um. Oh yeah, let's activate this uh, restaurant guide. Get our map done. All right, what are we looking at? What do we got? Go over to another town, Palermo. Pretty good sized town. Um, dead end. Another really good size conglomeration of towns. That's what you get to from where we were at. Points, endpoints, and more big size, big towns. All right, so you get endpoints up that way. That's not too far off if we've got a clear run to them. Hopefully we do. I'd still like to find regular labs, I think. Regular labs get uh, some purifiers, some mutagen choices, and have chances at the phase immersion suit. I think, but I can't wear it. Why do I keep thinking of those things? It's not going to solve my problem. Yeah, pretty much. I just need to go on a permanent Prussian blue diet. <laughs> I think that's pretty much what I need to do. All right, so magic practice. I think magic practice is going to be more useful than anything right now. Very hungry. How am I very hungry? I can't be very hungry. Oh yeah, forgot we got under the hood. We need to do under the hood first. I need some mechanic skill. Alright, adrenaline just wore off, so that's not good. Wait. I need to torso and right arm. Torso disinfect, right arm. Right arm. Torso disinfect. Uh, I ran my battery out. What? Gas lantern, please. Alright, we're tired. 4 a.m. Finish reading. Off the lantern. Oh, did I bring the blindfold? Not sure I brought the blindfold. are hammered too. <clears throat> All right. Um So, we've got most of... Oh! Oh! oh it happened! <laughs> it happened! It happened! We're below night or below 20! <clears throat> Not sure how. Take another one of those. Alright, so pain will take care of itself. Uh, we'll, we'll get to full heal just by sleeping. I can't remember if I brought the blindfold. Yeah, cool. Alright, so we've got the blindfold. It's going to come down to what comes to visit me while I'm trying to sleep. So we'll crouch while we sleep. We'll uh, we'll heal to full easily, and 
Yeah, I think we'll just leave. All right, radiogenic and regen. You work. <clears throat> Good job. Good job. Now, if only when I wake up we have like 18 or 17 radiation. That'd be nice. I'm going to expect it to be like 20, 22. 19 still. <laughs> no movement. All right. That's fine. Nothing in the area but one simple zombie. Full strength. Look at that. Nice even numbers. Or no no ridiculous stuff. Do I have like permanent painkillers five? Is that like from something? Because I mean I just woke up from a long sleep. And it's been saying painkillers five for quite a while. So is this just part of one of these traits that I've got that's doing that? I don't know. I mean, I'll take it, but I still seem to get in an awful lot of pain. All right, so gear is in good shape. Don't need the sewing kit. Not worried about the radiation anymore. Well, sort of worried about it, but we know what we're doing with that. Uh, I think I'm just going to spend the day reading again. We'll do mechanics, then we'll do some more magic... I want to take another shot at heading into town, this time without doing the experimental stuff <laughs> and being a little more cautious. Um, we didn't really get to too many of my, my target locations. Let's see. Do I want to relocate? Yeah, really. All right. <clears throat> Anybody notice any uh, any mutations recently? Did any mutation happen? I don't think so. None, none in there. Yeah, there's no problem with Magiclism and Arcana being used at the same time. They used completely different systems. They don't have any interaction problems. All right, let's just get some stuff. Finish off electronics. Or mechanics, I mean. That'll give me... Basic mechanical ability. Any other mechanics? Look. All right, so none of those are going to be super critical right now. So let's go with... Oh. Two hours this time. Might have been... Come on, zombie. Bring four without being drunk. Let's see what the difference is. 14, 15, lurch for 17. It's all good because we're back. We got our dodge back. Guess I should. Um. Spellcrafting is to what now? I think it's... Are we maxed out on spellcraft? I think we're maxed out. I don't think any of these spells will go any higher. So... Yeah, difficulty one. Uh, we can get one more level if I do phase door instead. Let's go ahead and study. Hey, phase door.
Bloink. <laughs> Level 1, phase door. 1.8% fail chance. Man, it's nice having 26 intelligence. <laughs> it makes the formulas kind of wacky on uh, on magicalism. Plus, I'm naked, so I don't have all those encumbrance problems that usually raise mana costs or uh, fail chances and so on. So, being a hyper-intelligent, naked, martial arts, drunken master guy is going to be somewhat entertaining. If I can uh, figure out and avoid whatever that situation was that occurred earlier. Spellcraft 3. Alright, so we've maxed our spellcraft out with what we can do here. Phase door, range of 3, variance of 2. 1% fail chance. Alright, I... Thing's gonna max out at range 4. Anyway up to eight spaces total. Not really going to gain me much. A little bit, but not a whole bunch, so I'm not going to worry about that one. We'll keep doing Magic Missile. <clears throat> and since it doesn't matter, my spellcrafting is pegged at the max, I can just do a nice long session. What time is it? Oh, it's already almost dark. Never mind. We'll do a short one. Yeah, we'll just go until the sun goes down. Oh! Very fast metabolism. <laughs> Who's coming for me? Tough zombie, huh? Alright, tough zombie. He actually got me. Alright, so I saw the fast metabolism mutation occur right before the fight. Right there. So, we're going to burn even more calories on our poor slime guy. But, that also means we uh, get more stamina recovery. I'm okay with that. <clears throat> Very thirsty. Thirsty is going to be the bigger problem. Let's go ahead and have a eight. Hillary. Eh? Eight o'clock. Sun should be going down pretty soon. Terrible, terrible warmth issues again, or still, which is not helping my my thirst. I'm sure. We're down to 14! 14 irradiation status! Holy mackerel. Did we lose <laughs> radiation? <laughs> no, we still got minor radioactivity. Hmm. Wonder why the uh, the sudden drop. As it, it held for held at 20 for so long, I don't know what caused the uh, the drop all of a sudden. I'll take it though. We'll uh, we'll try to push it along with some more potassium iodide and I'll just crouch and finish reading a little bit more. Really? Sun's never going down. Is that, is that the way this is working? <laughs> what the hell? It's almost 10 p.m. Do I have a light source on? I bet you have a light source on. No, I don't have a light source on. It wouldn't have stayed on this long anyway. Oh. Here. Finally. Alright. What did we make it to? We're up to level 7. 12 points of damage per shot. 7,250 mana. 14 range. Quiet killer. Alright, it's getting to the point, getting close to the point where we can take real good use of that. 
kill some pesky uh, shock zombies in the dark without them knowing where it's coming from. That'll be probably my number one target. <laughs> shock zombies with magic missile. Everything else I can just smash flat. Alright, 15 sherry out of 42 in my canteen, huh? Um, I need more alcohol. I got vodka. That's it? That's all I brought? Doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem like me. Hmm. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to grab some more alcohol. Alright, not quite overweight. With the radiation coming down, we're up to 5 out of 6 strength. Look at that. Now nah, we're talking. Alright, so our carry capacity went up a bit. I've got painkiller. I've got bandages for emergencies. I need some more antiseptic. Alright, guns reloaded. <laughs> Keep hitting the U key instead of the I key. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Equipment wise, everything seemed to go just fine earlier. So I think we'll just stick with this. Let's see. Where are we going to try to work our way into? I'd love to get into a. Subway. We've cleared a good portion of this area, but that's the nearest subway. I still haven't seen the inside of these garages I was trying to get to. Okay. Subways. Yeah, I think I'll stick to this area, so we'll we'll just come back to where we were. We'll make another attempt. Okay. We'll try to cut north of the cemetery up through that field so you can get closer to the predator and I'm not drunk. <laughs> I needs to be drunk. He can see me right now. He's chasing me pretty quick. Right, let's go back this way. I need to stop and get some liquor. I can see that. Wheels, lots of gas. Doesn't help. Yeah, that building there, I don't want to deal with. Back 
Necromancer. Spitter doesn't scare me. I've got to remember to use spitters. Another feral predator. That's my biggest fear is I'll pop down those stairs in the subway and it'll just be wall to wall shock and predators and hulks and crazy stuff. I don't know if I can I can risk getting into this place this way. Careful brutes. And maneuvering on the bike is kind of rough. Oh, hello, Mr. Predator. And Necromancer. That's not a good combo. And if I turn south, I'm going to turn into a grabber zombie who might yank me off the bike and hold me in place. <laughs> well, this is getting interesting. Hmm. So what I'm seeing and what, what's worrying me is uh, obviously the Predator right next to me. That's not good. But I got a brute that could super punch me right off the bike. I've also got a necromancer, so anything I kill can get back up again. I got a grabber, so if I try to angle south right now, it's possible I'll get yanked off the bike by the grabber. And then I'll be stuck in the middle of a lot of nasties that'll keep getting up unless I can wade my way over the necromancer and punch him to death first. The bike's not maneuverable enough for me to turn this way. I could try to keep going forward and try to try to get through the gap of these guys, but I'm likely just to smack into one, stop, and then get mobbed. Or have the brute punch me into a wall and get mobbed. <clears throat> I think I'm going to try to turn like so. Just pray I can I can thread the gap. I'm not worried about the necro on his own. It's just his ability to raise things. Like if I kill the predator, he'll first thing he'll do is raise it. So let's turn. Slow down slightly. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this is looking not good. This is looking not good. Look how fast this went horribly. Youchers. As soon as I get grabbed with my low strength and dex, I may not be able to un get ungrabbed. <laughs> um, and again, the way I'm pointing, even if I manage to, to evade the grab here, I got two more grabbers. And a slavering. Yeah, this kind of randomly rolling through places is probably not going to work. If I try to turn again, I'm likely to get grabbed and or get blocked before I can get the wheels around. I think all I can do is kick the speed up and just pray I I can make through here without, uh, without getting grabbed by one of these guys. If they do yank me off the bike and I can break the grab, I'll go for the chain link. That'll provide me a tiny bit of, of uh, protection. All right, so speed 12. I'm just going to keep going straight and pray I don't hit anything. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, all right. Good times. Good times. Get off the bike, Vorm. <laughs> You're going to kill yourself on a bike. I thought it was going to be helpful. I honestly thought it was going to be helpful, but... I can get myself into too much trouble. Let's see. Yeah, this is too dangerous. <laughs> it's way too dangerous for this character. Uh, at least my dex is decent now. I gotta remember my, I actually have some dex. So I have a chance of breaking grabs. But um, yeah, that's 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 too too dangerous. I'm gonna get myself killed doing that. I'm trying to keep this guy alive. The challenge is crazy hard enough without uh, me just going haywire. Like I've been saying, with the uh, dialed up evolution we're using, it's all fun stuff all over the place. And um, I'm really fearful what I'm going to find when I go try to go into one of these one of these subways. If you're not aware, the uh, subways, these bright S's, if you go to them and you go downstairs one level, there's a intermediate level before you go down again to get to the tracks. But that intermediate level 
got a ticket booth and vending machines, and it's got a utility closet that's got a really high chance of having jackhammers. And I need a pickaxe or a jackhammer. I haven't had any luck so far at hardware stores and um, other locations that could have things like that. So the subways are the best place, but that intermediate level on double zombies, I tend to have just a mess of really high power zombies down there. And it's going to be brutal. If I don't clear the upper area to get myself a safe retreat path to come back out of, then I can I can get myself killed pretty quickly. Because um, I'll end up again in that same situation we had a uh, half hour ago, hour ago, where I was dazed, poisoned, grabbed. <laughs> I mean, I had all of the various negatives going on. So... Make one more attempt. I'll stay on the bike for the moment. I'm gonna try to get to those garages one more time. It'd be nice if I can get to them with the bike and get in and look. That way I could bail out, drop stuff into the basket to help carry on the way out. Let's go down this way this time. All right, this should be where the Humvee is that I marked earlier. Here's the Humvee I marked, just for the wheels. Oh, I don't think I checked that ambulance. Got a clear? Yeah, we're pretty clear. <clears throat> Up out here. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? Morphine, inhaler, and some aspirin. Well, all right. Not what I hoped, but. And we got what? Grocery store. Whoa! <laughs> Goddamn surprise, shady zombies! <laughs> I'm not used to dealing with shady zombies anymore after they got moved to the evolved list. Scared the crap out of me. Of course, I, I lurched and countered him for 99, which took care of the problem, but it was still not expected. Alright, I just want to check the uh, grocery store. Oh, really? You guys heard me slash smelled me? Am I like particularly stinky or noisy? What's my what's my Whoa, sound twelve? Why the hell am, what am I doing that's got sound twelve? I'm wearing shoes. Wait, I bet you I'm not sound twelve. I bet I'm sound eight. It's my enhanced hearing that's screwing things up. It's my perceived sound, and I have enhanced hearing, which uh screws things up. So I'm not I'm not being given the actual sound number. I'm being given what my... Yeah, I have rodent ears here. Yeah. I'm not actually making sound 12, but I'm not sure. I can't I can't tell what sound I am actually making because of the, uh, the rodent ears. Oh, well. I'll just have to deal with it. <clears throat> they seem to be detecting me from ranges I'm not used to, though. Um, whole bunch of nothing useful. Nope, nothing useful in the book departments. Minor food items. Nothing on the med shelf. All right, all right. Sure, let's have a marshal. <clears throat> I'm hydrated. Can I can I get can I get the full or whatever? So maybe we can get another slime spray. Those things are kind of cool. Chips, candies, candies, milk balls. Hey, look at that. We're full and hydrated. Also terrible for my 
Good health stat. Whatever. Surgeon! <laughs> Where's my slime spring? I want a slime spring. Hundred and twelve. Hundred and twelve is a good number. Alright, back on the bike. Done, so I'm aiming for that garage there. So yeah, let's go back. Have it available for theoretical quick exit. <clears throat> With me, it's more likely to be a quick get in trouble. My bane, the electrical. So, see how they're moving right now? Exactly why. I did not kill any exploding zombies. No super loud noises I'm aware of were being made, although now again it's showing me these huge numbers. The so shock zombie decided to turn around. Yeah, it's just some weird, weird zombie movements going on. I'm gonna get shocked by this guy. I don't have. I need to. I need to actually wear gloves. I need to wear some leather gloves or something. That way, I don't have to worry about punching these guys to death. Let's see how much damage I take. All right, a bit. As long as I can kill him quick, it's not too bad. This guy is gonna make noise, which is then gonna draw that thing. Plus, we've got the guys in the south. And my speed is twenty-five again. Am I speeding? Oh, that's because I'm that. Alright. <laughs> Don't mind me. I understand why. Um. Sleep power to my north. Alright, let's, uh, let's back off to here. Still a few other extraneous ones. Old pile of duct tape. Uh, normally, I pick up lots of duct tape, but we can't really wear anything with this guy. So, <laughs> there's some wacky basements. All the basements look like these weird things now. Get into this garage. Oh, let's go kill a dissolute. And another dissolute. Shacker. That's right, I gotta use more grenades. Keep forgetting to use my grenades. Cheap whiskey. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that. Good old automotive filter always fools me. I think it's the uh, welder, and it's not. 
Well, there we go. All right, they changed that up. One full tank, two torches, and the goggles and the mask. So that's one of the things I needed to make sure I got a hold of. More tanks, welding tank, motor oil, another torch. All right, so a good garage. No, uh, no welding cart, unfortunately. No engine crane. All right, that's enough to get me started. So I need that, one of those. I already know I have goggles. Take a better care. Right. This thing will hold what? 20? This is only 3. Alright, you got another one. Alright, so that's good. Um, what else we got nearby? Fast food restaurant, bowling alley. Nothing too exciting. Liquor store. Ooh, liquor store. Maybe I'll go up, try to look at the liquor store and see if we have an option to get into the subway station. We'll go a little more slowly and deliberately to see if I have a chance to turn around. Go Black Ops zombie. Oh, Black Ops can see me. <laughs> what you got? M4 entrenching tool, MREs, radio. Eh. This is where I get nervous, where I don't have a clean retreat path. Evlar Hulk, Slavering Biter. Alright, so that's the liquor store. Just to head up, up into my left, right there. Let's go around this way. You guys following me. Nothing too dangerous in sight yet. And we go a few spaces further and we start looking at a horde. Um See a slavering biter. Does that mean that the Hulk's on the way over to? Got snuck up on again. Another shady zombie. It's looking like the liquor store is pretty infested. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going to be able to get to the liquor store. That's getting a little, a little crowded up there too. I 
rather not get poisoned. Ah, I got bloated from both sides. I get moving before they get to me. Damn, places just. <laughs> Blocked the bike, so I kicked their ass while I was riding it. <laughs> oh, they damaged it though. No, oh no, I damaged them when I drove over them. That's funny. I think it's hilarious how my counterattacks kill them while I'm driving the bike. All right, so we got a house and we got subways on both sides. If I can keep the area immediately around me clear. This might be a good opportunity for me to do, uh... And we got, yeah, we got houses on all the sides. I might have a basement I can clear, so I have a running point that I can get to. I'd really like to clear this spot here without attracting any more attention. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna try. Check this house first. Perfect condition? No, nope, not perfect condition. Trouble and a wrench. Don't need those. Whoops, stop running. Alright, stout, cheese. Let's have some more. Stout. Have some cheese and pickles. Not sure what I have to do to get my my slime spring buddy to pop up again. Leather gloves that fit. I think I gotta go with the leather gloves. We got a little bit of carry capacity now, and that'll insulate me. 95% coverage, and it doesn't conduct electricity. So even when I'm using my knuckles, my nail knuckles or my steel knuckles, I won't get shocked by the uh, the, the hits. So that's a good find. So we got leather gloves on now. Not gonna worry about. Oh, hip flask of whiskey. Um. Ah, damn it! I've got sherry and vodka. Yeah, I can take that as. Well. Don't need that low-level dodge book. Whoops! I guess the scent trail finally caught up to me. I haven't gotten my stamina back yet, and uh, my speed is low because of that. Look at the heat! Look at this heat! I can't wear the gloves. I can't wear the gloves. <laughs> it's just, I love it. Chili, 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 chili. Nope. <laughs> where's, where's the chili part? I think the chili part is because of my chemical imbalance. I think that's what's telling me I'm hot or cold on occasion. <clears throat> hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 